Tarkovsky. So this word, this following word, came a bit in an unusual way on day 28 and eight months in the Gregorian year 2024, probably around 9 a.m., while I was working on a renovation project. Actually, the day before the word came, a good part of the day, a relative old and well-known song hovered in my mind while plastering a wall. I was actually never a fan of that certain band, though definitely they're excellent musicians. And of course, I heard some of their music during their peak season, but it was just not really my style. Well, actually, much better than most modern stuff where many people now use AI to cheat. Possibly, I don't know. Anyway, all the older folks uh, surely know this band. For copyright reasons, I don't sing it here. And possibly the song. And the song I refer in this word was likely not intended to be prophetic. I actually don't know the lyrics anyway. Only one phrase and roughly remember the melody. And this word is anyway not about the song. But they surely never thought it one day it will be used metaphorically to connect it in a prophetic way by a goofball who used to talk on a couch. Anyway, before listening or reading, please make sure in prayer that the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you into all wisdom and understanding and more, because it's very visual, at the same time packed with metaphors. There's actually a lot of information between the lines, so you truly need to ask the Lord for revelation. I'm not able to in, or instructed to pinpoint every detail, or else this word would go on for hours and become very confusing with my clumsy explanations between. It starts actually as a poem and then turns into a normal, as I say, normal word and contains also a portion that is personally, partially with a bit of extension or for others. You may not understand all the details in the personal part because it gives also reference to a dream I had not long ago, which I may not share. But as this section might be encouraging, I leave it in the prophecy and hopefully don't forget to mark it in the transcript and somehow in the video. But now I jump into the word. Babylon sends children to his school. There, each one shall learn how to become a fool. Indoctrinated from A to Z, taught to always nod their head, no matter who's in charge, green and blue or red. Trained to follow orders in the latter days to come. Suppressed emotions, no compassion, just completely numb. Deception is the system's teaching tool and many kids think, wow, this is very cool. Parents believe their offspring will get super smart while brains be stuffed with junk, perversion fills the heart. A subtle plan to bring man far away from me. Satisfy the little ones with all forbidden fruit right off the tree. The one who feeds them with the good and evil knowledge. A path from daycare up to university or college. Teachers drilled, instilled not to leave the kids alone. Confused, deluded puppets, queer without the backbone. Creativity, individuality, stumped out of every mind, turned to psychopathic clones to have them spiritually blind. Not anymore can my word be truly found along this tricky trail. It disappeared and those who dare to want to bring it back might end in jail. The major purpose through the years is taught to fear the beast. Hammered into little brains with its image, worship more increased. Wisdom and instruction and the fear of me the fools have all despised. Gender bending with transhumanism every session exercised. Removed the vision for each child finally to kill them all. Stealing their identity so they don't recognize my call. I desire them to be a brick, a free one in my holy wall. And bring my word far to the ends, to people all, great and small. The tide is turned, don't you see it? Look into the heavenly realm, it's there. Open your eyes if you have eyes to see and realize. Daniel has been waiting for the messenger to bring the answer. So you too have to wait for a very short time to receive the message and the answer. Now start with the personal. I have given you a glimpse of your desire to be with me. 
When you poured out salt and light over the manna I have given you, it caused you so much excitement that broke the vessel while the light covered the manna. Time is short, but I will extend it for you and my beloved in a way that will blow your mind. It's not about the day and an hour, it's all about you. And more, your desire to be with me. Moshe was 40 days and 40 nights in my presence twice. During that relatively short time, he received and experienced an outpouring of my love and instructions in such a way where naturally it would take a generation of books with instructions to read and other generations to understand. But all the wealth you can see he received within this short 40 period of time. Will you come to me again and draw very near? Yes, I know you desire this more than anything else. But it will crush you when I send you back because your hour has not yet come. So wait for the day and the hour when the day and the hour will be consummated and called into existence by my Father and to remain where you belong. But a message and the answer you will receive in time given, as you will also receive the restoration of the years that the locusts and their evil friends have eaten. As you ate my manna, so I will fill you with my wonders. And there is no need to tell you that my word is true, because you know it deep in your heart. So that's the end of the personal message. Now I'll continue with the normal one. Look how the beast had set up a trap for himself. Get out of Babylon. Hurry and don't delay. Everything the wicked builders have built is laid upon sandy ground. Their own shady school system trained their own fools. And what they learned caused their own demise. And all in all is just another crack in the wall. A wall of ignorance, a wall of rejection of me and my truth. A wall of wickedness made by rotten bricks. Not only is their house built on sand, but their whole construct is upside down, caused by their decisions to turn good into evil and evil into good. Their heavy foundation made of iron mixed with clay is now at the very top and the roof made by a little straw of sanity is buried at the bottom halfway in the sand, mingling slowly deeper and deeper into the sand of madness. The education system gained so many diversities, it's meanwhile so colorful, there ain't no more names for all the disgusting tones. Another shaking and all their corrupt smoke screen will collapse with heavy loads of judgment from above. Their project is like if you want to nail putting on a wall with a challenge to find a spot without cracks. The globalists caused a lot of storms. I gave permission for some storms to wake people up from their spiritual slumber. And I continue to give permission for more big storms to come. Some designed by the lawless one, others by my mighty hand and outstretched arm. The evil storms cause a lot of destruction while mine bring instructions. But both for the purpose to bring more souls into my kingdom as if everything would stay calm and cozy. The people and even most churches fall asleep without real storms in the sound of silence. The next tyrannic storm they created will come. But I will diverse the direction if you, my people, if you, my people, honestly pray and humble yourself and seek my face, then your prayers will not delay and the crack in the wall of the wicked will increase instead the dimension of your slavery. Your united shout together synchronized with my shofarot shall tumble their wall. But if you yell or gossip and point your unrighteous finger against each other, nothing will turn for your good, because this is the mortar that the accuser of the brethren can use to fill the cracks of his wicked walls. Remember, Yericho, be still and know that I am the great I am. I have not forgotten, and I see because I have created the eye, and I hear because I have created the ear. Once you have surrounded their blasphemous wall seven times in silence, I will give the signal for the shout. 
Let them laugh or mock at my true holy priests in front who carry the ark of my salvation and sneer at the large crowd of unknown beautiful people following the Lamb. These are men and women, young and old, with many children, babies and nursing toddlers who are ordained to sing praises to the Most High. Let them laugh while you laugh with me as I have them in derision. When they mock against you, they mock against me, and I am not mocked. You will laugh even more when you will see the cracks in their wall growing and finally everything tumbling down. Don't focus on politics nor on elections, because it's all set up for deception and destruction. They will soon place another brick in the wall and stack another bunch of lawless bricks on top. Though it looks like, at first glance, promising and hopeful, but all in all, with each and every brick, it will simply cause more cracks. I let it happen for their own destruction as much as our hardened Pharaoh's heart. So in his fury, he himself with his entire, quotes, royal army went into the sea to drown. So I let these greed masons lay more bricks for their crooked wall. Don't be afraid or look upon the beast as you have instructed from school books and human laws. Look at me and my salvation and let my commandments be your instruction. My holy wall is not able to collapse because everything holds together with a mortar of my love. And you who love me are the bricks. But don't stand idle around. This is the last hour and I still send laborers into the harvest. And those who go will receive the same as the ones who went out in the first hour at the dawn of the cross. Go quickly and fix your net speedily, as there are a lot of great fish in the ocean of filth that needs to be swapped over to the ocean of my love. I made Shimon Kaifa and Andreas, his brother, to become fisher of men, so I can make anyone who is willing to go the same. And for those who have no boat or no way or calling to go into the harvest, I ask you to pray and plead the master of the harvest to send more laborers. And you shall not forget to intercede for those who are already out in the fields or in their boats to gather righteous fruits. You know how many I fed with two fish and five loaves of bread and how much was left over. This was only a small portion of what I am able to do. Many hearts have been deceived by all the bricks and cracks of the wicked wall. They all need salvation and healing, especially those who have been intentionally powdered with all the toxic mortar. People have been taught to help building without asking why, using these particles of, of obedience in order to connect the bricks of the deceptive wall together. This purpose of this wall is to separate creation from me, their true creator. Don't worry when the news will be filled with some new and more deadly diseases, terror, war and rumors of wars. If you love me and keep my commandments, I will keep you from all harm. My holy wall, where I want you to be part of it, is a wall of protection and provision. There are still a lot of holes in that wall, so it doesn't look pretty from the outside, but it shall be filled with new bricks very soon and my glory that still covers that wall will finally shine in a way that no darkness is able to come near. Don't listen to the liars in high places. Spreading imaginary fear is their strongest deceptive weapon. But have the fear of me so I can pour out my wisdom and my true knowledge upon you. Teach your children my word from the cradle till they are mature enough to never leave the path of righteousness and able to finally teach their own children. My school is not by learning letters, but to trust and obey and do what I have called you to do with the gifts and talents I have poured into your life. Every brick in my holy wall is like a part of my body. Each one fits only at one exact certain spot in its size and form. If it wants to be mounted at another place or by his self-will, either it will not fit or it will block others to join. All those bricks only cause cracks and division. 
You shall see how quickly they will be removed from the wall and be tossed with the rubble of Damascus. The time is here now for this removal and cleansing process as judgment begins in my house and it already began. Remember the builder of the holy temple is one and he seeks a temple without spot and wrinkles. There are wicked builders who rejected the stone who became the precious chief cornerstone and they are the same who teach children in school there are no foundation of the earth. But they are not able to answer my question who laid its cornerstone because they rejected him. As they built in vain without any foundation of truth but only a heavy burden foundation of lies The whole Babylonian education system falls apart and all in all, it's just another crack in their wall. You can pray for your enemies, but don't forget to pray for your friends and beloved ones who are still walking on the wide road that leads straight into destruction. You can decide if you think it's more fruitful to pray for one of the many pharaohs to repent which is like to teach camels to jump through the eye of a needle. Or you may cast your net and catch a bunch of fish while you listen to me and let me tell you on which side of your boat you'll find them. Keep your eyes, ears and mouth away from the lust of the flesh and its worldly desires, including all the vain events. But focus on me and I will take care of the rest. If you want to be a brick in my holy wall and remain there, fill the place I have allotted for you. And most important, be holy, for I am holy. Unholy bricks can only be found in the wicked wall that will collapse and fall as Babylon will fall. Once again, come out of her before she falls, so you don't become partakers of her sins and receive her plagues. Everything they do is for their own pleasure, all in vain and all in all, it's just another crack in the wall. Okay, that was the word. Now I guess you know which song I'm talking about. It came to me the day before the word arrived. It has a lot to do with building and interestingly enough, it arrived while plastering a wall. Maybe not a coincidence, a preparation to receive this word, but another Another thought came in the, to me in that context. Surely you heard about Freemasons. Well, I am a Freemason. Oh, but not a Freemason. Well, the Freemasons actually are not really Masons. I guess hardly anyone knows how to work hard physically with their hands. But more importantly, they are, they are definitely not free. Not at all. For me, without being officially a Mason, I do masonry work, sometimes beside many other things, but more important, unlike the Freemasons, I am free. Not because I'm great or good, no, not at all, but by pure amazing grace. I mean, it's a miracle I, and I can't understand why Yeshua chose me and was made free by the blood of him, the innocent lamb who died for my sins and for yours and paid a price, a price that we all never can pay. And you can be free too, if you want, regardless of your past or your status or whatever. In Yeshua, you can be indeed free. Everyone, whether you are a mason, working physically hard or swing a pencil in an office, in him you are not just a mason, but you're amazing. As to the word, you may think the school system is, is not so bad as it sounds here. At least the children learn, learn something or this and that and so on. So I leave it up to you to consider if it's good or bad. Well, personally, I loved sports, arts and funny stuff that doesn't really belong to school. But learning the rest, what the school system almost forced us to learn, how much I enjoyed it, it's up to your guess. Anyway, Deuteronomy 4, 6 and 11, Psalm 78 and other verses speak about that we shall teach our children diligently his commandments, which are eternal. And by this I mean and emphasize it's not the rabbinical traditions or religious doctrines, but scripture pure. Whatever your opinion on public school is, but let Yeshua be your teacher and the Holy Spirit your guide into all truth.
But enough now, be mightily blessed, and Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.